So electrical engineering is not for everyone. It's a very difficult major and the coursework is very rigorous and the math involved is quite intense. And I learned this from doing a bachelor's, master's and a PhD in electrical engineering. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about five trades that if you do not have, things are gonna be very hard in electrical engineering. You might try to strengthen them or you might just switch something else. Now the first trait is imagination and a love for abstraction. Now the problem with electrical engineering with comparison to other majors is that in electrical engineering, everything is pretty much invisible. You're dealing with electric fields, which are invisible, Magnetic fields, can't see those. Electromagnetic waves, can't see those. I mean, technically, yes, you could see visible light, but generally speaking, a lot of the concepts are not really tangible, so you can't really just like touch them and feel them. So it's gonna require a lot of imagination. It's gonna require a lot of like closing your eyes and kind of picturing what's actually going on. And even the concepts that are a bit more advanced, such as in digital electronics, that also requires some abstraction. For example, the concept of binary numbers and using binary numbers to build logic gates and using the logic gates to build circuits, that requires some serious imagination. And I'm not going to say you need to love abstraction, but you need to at least be interested in abstract things. In fact, there's a class called signals and systems that usually weeds out a lot of students from electrical engineering. And usually those are the students that cannot handle the level of abstraction. Now, the good news is like imagination is a skill that you can work on. You can kind of try to, but if you feel the need to like work on tangible things and you need to like build things that are physical all the time, and you can't stand the idea of like picturing something, then you should probably switch to mechanical engineering. Those guys like to work on tangible things. All right, second trait you will need to have is curiosity and you need to be able to be curious and the simple reason for that is electrical engineering is a rabbit hole. It like goes 15 layers deep where you start with basic electric and magnetic fields and then that delves into circuits and electronics and then suddenly you start building devices but you can actually write software too and kind of one thing pulls you into another and if you're not curious on how these things like basically go from one to the other or without being like self-motivated about learning about these things it's gonna be very very hard. And while this is true for most engineering majors I'd say especially for electrical engineering curiosity is very important because electrical engineering or electromagnetics is still kind of like black magic. It is still counterintuitive and the concepts are still not very clear. So if you try to learn about how electromagnetic signals travel through a waveguide, the different modes of operation and all that cool stuff without being actually curious about it, that's gonna be very, very hard. Which brings me to the third trait and that is you need to have some level of interest in electronics and electromagnetics. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't need to be one of those kids that like take things apart or like used to take things apart as a kid and fix them or not. I was not that kid. But if I were to show you like, like a circuit board or a computer or an antenna or an electronic device like a radio or I don't know like a microcontroller with like a breadboard and a bunch of wires if these things don't at least interest you like if you just look at that and you're like oh god no that's a clear indication that you should not do electrical engineering because you're gonna be dealing with these things all the time and again you don't need to absolutely love these things like you just need to be interested in them because very often there's a misconception that oh you need to be like super passionate about what you do from day one but that's not true usually it builds up as you go along the way for example for me I started liking electrical engineering more I started liking electronics more and electromagnetics more as I got deeper into it. But I still had that initial level of interest that without it, things would have been very hard. Fourth trait you need to have is that you need to be interested in math. Now, if you hate math or you can't stand math, I have very bad news for you. Electrical engineering, at least getting through a degree, is going to be very, very, very hard. Now, keep in mind, I'm saying you have to be interested in math. You don't have to be super good. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be like a top math student. But as long as you're willing to sit down for like six to eight hours and hammer through some math homework assignments and go to office hours and go talk to the professor and get help if needed and have the attitude of, okay, no, I'm going to learn this thing because I find it interesting, then you're going to be more than good enough. And you absolutely don't need to be like a math math lover. You just need to be good enough and like interested enough to be willing to sit through like painful homework assignments. And this is where many people will give the wrong advice. Like some people will say, oh, if you're not like really good at math, just don't do electrical engineering or do, don't do do engineering at all. I think that's really dumb. I think math is a skill which you can get good at. Obviously, assuming you're a little bit interested or curious, but you can practice and get better. In fact, Michael Faraday, who's like one of the gods of electrical engineering, I think he only knew up to trigonometry. And this guy essentially discovered like electromagnetic induction with basic math because he had like very good intuition and very good understanding of the concepts. So understanding the concepts is far more important than being good at math. However, being good at math will help a lot, but you can get better through practicing. Which brings me to the fifth trait, which is extremely important, is just having the ability to focus, to be disciplined, 
to be willing to endure a lot of pain. And I don't mean that to scare you, but generally speaking, electrical engineering is, is very rigorous, especially sophomore, junior year. In those years, you're taking a lot of classes. They're very difficult. You don't know what's going on. And the only way to push through is to just sit down and do the work rigorously, ideally with a group of people. So if you can make some friends and work together, that will give you a huge advantage and you'll be able to learn like way more efficiently. And this is actually the one area where you can have a huge advantage over other students because right now, I mean, I'm recording this video in 2022. And these days uh, with social media and all sorts of distractions, it's very hard for students to focus because students are kind of wired to just like be on social media and be, like on, on the internet and all these apps. So if you have the ability to put all that stuff away and just sit down and focus for like 45 minutes or like for an hour straight while working on electrical engineering problems, then you're gonna be at a huge advantage. And if you can cultivate that skill, I can tell you, you're going to be super successful at electrical engineering. Because again, electrical engineering problems will require a lot of abstraction, imagination, focus, concentration. So the more you strengthen those muscles in your brain, well, they're not real muscles. The more you strengthen these connections in your brain, the better off you will be. Now, there is one thing I need to mention to you is that these five traits, while they do apply to electrical engineering, they actually apply to computer science as well. At least four of them do. And electrical engineering computer science is like a big toss up between students. And for that reason, I made a video explaining why I chose electrical engineering over computer science and I go over the differences and why if you have those traits, electrical engineering is probably the better option. It should be somewhere over here. So you should go ahead and watch it.